Hello. I'm Charlotte Lai Charity. I'm 23 years old. I'm young. I'm bright. I'm beautiful. I'm studying at the very prestigious St. Theodora's University. I'm doing very well. And of course, that is not who I am. My name is Inge Mette Peterson. I'm 64, and I was 56 when I started LARPing. So I've been old, much older than most of the people I've been LARPing with most of my LARP career. I do international LARPs. I have met uh, a lot of LARPers of different ages. And most of the time, my age has not been a problem. Partly because LARPers are a very generous bunch when we laugh. In some ways, I think my uh, age has been an advantage for me. I play to transform and to change. So I look for a certain kind of laugh. And I will try to pose three questions. And through answering them, I will show why age can be an advantage. The first question is you need to answer is what do you know? This is Mrs. Thompson, the cook. The lab is the Libertines, and uh, it was created by Atropos. It's a lab about a gathering in a large house in the country just before the French Revolution. And the title pretty much says what goes on there. When I did this, I used my own personal experience, my work experience. I work as a reenactor and an interpreter. And a lot of what I do is working with historic food, is cooking historic food. So this is a way to use a professional experience as part of a laugh. I used every aspect of this experience. I have other, I am a cook actually. One of the things I always also used in this is I am very good at bossing people around. <laughs> But there's another way of using knowledge. This is Inga Wilson. She is uh, a detainee in a detention center in the a lab called the Quota, created by Avalon Lab. In this detention center is in a, uh, sometime in the future. And all, this is a place where all the unwanted of the country sits and waits to maybe be part of the quota so they can get into Wales. This lab was actually created before Brexit, which is interesting. I, I wanted to create this character as a political statement. As you can see, she is not quite there, because what I wanted to show is what happens to people when they are spending years in a detention center. If you want to know what goes on in her mind, the writing next to her is the last page of the diary. As you can see, she has lost herself now. This is not something that happened overnight, it's something that happens slowly. If you look at a prison, a lot of prisons are built like a panopticon. You can see everybody from the center stage. And this constant surveillance will construct your mind and your soul. The French philosopher Michel Foucault works with this, as does the Scottish psychoanalyst R.D. Lang. And I use their understanding of this connection between society and the in 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 individual when I created her. I use that theories to show a person who's mounting mind is slowly being dissolved through the mechanics of the society around her. 
And uh, as you can see, this diary page, this way of showing a mind is something I took inspiration from, from an, an artist called Ovatachi, he's Danish. This is a way to using theoretical knowledge and not practical. And sometimes you must realize how important it is to use all the knowledge you have accumulated over the years when you create a character. Not that the knowledge that you did not realize were relevant. The second question is what do you feel? This is Julie Bach. She's a character in the live called A Nice Evening in the Family by Anna Hultmann and Anna Westerling. It's a lot about family and family relations. As you grow older, you will meet people in different relations, and some of these relations will be painful, and some of the choices you make will be painful. And you may find that family is always important, as is pa parenthood. So who is Julie Bach, and why was she so important to me? Julie Bach is a woman who let her husband squander her fortune and also the, uh, let down her daughters. Becoming a parent is a great experience and I have a son. And as your child grows up, you will realize it, that you will never be perfect. There's always something you did not do for your child needs you could not meet. Did I, as she did, sometimes prioritize my husband over my son? And asking that question involves a lot of pain. For me, that was an important thing to take away from this lab. That you must ask this question to yourself sometime. This is about the importance of your own feelings and experience in creating a character and in playing. And the older you are, the more you have felt and experienced. Using your own feelings gives death to a character. And hopefully that gives a character that others can use also in their game. My third question is, what do you hide? This is a picture from a lab called House of Craving, created by Participation Design. This is a very caring picture. This is the winter, April and Hunter having a moment. But it is also a picture where everybody lies. They all hide something. House of Craving is if you can describe it shortly, it's a laugh, a horror laugh about a family and a house. <laughs> As we grow older, we hide. We hide behind layers upon layers of knowledge and experience. We become powerful and we become invincible. And peeling all these layers off becomes more and more difficult. But to play, we must do that. We must show that we are also vulnerable and human, no matter how old we are. The most difficult thing to do as an old person is to go let go of the power that age gives you including the power that helping others also gives you, because help can also be control. You are, but in doing so, you're playing with fire, with everything that society expects of you. But if, if you want to transform, that is what you must do. In the end, I will have three words of wisdom for old lovers. The first is, be selfish. After all, it is your own story in the lab that you're here to play. The second is, be kind. 
Kindness is always important. Repay the generosity of your fellow lovers. And the third is be curious. You think you know everything, have seen everything. But there is also always something new to learn and new experiences to be had. Thank you for listening.